Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm getting my office in order. It is a complete and utter disaster. So if you are new around here or just for a little refresher, I have a five and a half month old daughter and she was born at the end of October of 2019 and it's now mid-April. When she was born, um, well about a month before she was born, about October 3rd or 7th or early October is when I stopped working. And so my office has been the like collect all space for the past five and a half months, really more like six and a half months since I stopped working. And I haven't really cleaned it out at all, obviously. And um, I need to. So that's what I'm going to work on today. I'll do some time lapses. I'll tell you what I'm working on and just trying to kind of sort things through. The other piece of the puzzle is that my daughter's nursery used to be, um, we used to call it Riley's room. My husband's name is Riley. And so he had like a TV and a couch and he had his guitars in there and we needed that for um, our baby. So we have his guitars in here now. So I just need to, <laughs> you hear her? So I just need to kind of get everything um, sorted and pulled together. Here we go. All right, so I've made some good progress so far. I'm working on, this is my stationary basket, so I thought I would show it to you. Here's what it looks like, just holding it up. So in this big Hallmark box, this is from Amazon. I will link it below. It's awesome. It has, it comes fully stocked and then I have added to it. So birthday cards, baby. So like in the birthday, there's some really cute little birthday cards and then baby, there's baby and so on and so forth all the way back. Um, wedding they have pretty wedding ones so it's fully stocked when you get it and then like I said as I see cute cards I go ahead and add more into it just so it's always stocked and it makes birthdays so much easier so I highly recommend this um, I think I got it on a deal it was about $20 I think Riley bought it for me actually as a um, as a gift because I'm the one that always gets the cards and so it's, it was nice and easy for me to do that um, to have it like this so I'll link that below and then these I always have some Erin Condren stationery on hand um, I'm a big note writer to friends and family and especially um, for thank you notes so with Erin Condren you get to choose the print and then you get to choose the colors so for this one i chose like a periwinkle blue and like a hot pink you get to personalize it with your name and you get to personalize um, what you want the back of it to look like and then you even get to choose the color of envelope so i picked like a pink envelope to match so that one's like a floral one and then um, you get to choose the case as well and then this one is fun this one's a leopard print one that says my name on the front and then it has the pink I got to pick the pink leopard I thought that was kind of cute and fun and trendy and then this one I love this one especially for summertime um, this one is like green pears and then some little green pears and I um, picked those colors as well and I chose like craft paper envelopes with that I thought that was a fun one for the um, for the leopard I just chose white envelopes and then one more um, I only have a couple left because I've used almost all of them but these have kind of they almost look like I don't know stone or water or something my name and then the back and for this one I chose like these envelopes um, and they come, each one comes with, which I always put into this little basket, or this isn't a basket, into this little plastic kind of folio thing. I keep my stamps in here. I keep um, return address labels in here. Um, these are my P.O. box ones, and then I have my personal ones. And then these little um, foil stickers, these little gold foil stickers, there's a pack of them that comes with each pack of these so that you can use them to seal the envelope when you um, go ahead and mail it. So I keep that in here. I also have a couple more um, Aaron Condren ones that are seasonal. So these are Christmas trees. 
And these are birch trees for fall and then for obviously Christmas time. So I use those during those times of year. Um, and then these are both stationary for Nora. So when someone sends Nora a gift, sometimes I'll send back using her stationery, which is super cute as well. So um, I don't know if you guys are big notes writers or not. And then I have a um, address book that I also keep in here. I don't know if you're big notes writers or not, but I am. And it is really nice to have it all just in one easy bin. Um, and often what I'll do is I'll pull this whole bin out and put it on the couch at the beginning of the month. And I'll write all the thank you notes that I want to write or just notes of encouragement to people. I'll um, get birthday cards, anniversary cards, things like that. I'll get that all ready just to get it going for the month because it's easy once the month starts going. Um, it gets away from you, sort of, you know, so. And then having this little pouch with, um, which I got... I think this is actually from Erin Condren. Yeah, it is. It says down here. Um, having this little pouch with the little foil closures and then the stamps and return address labels. And then even like if I, these are just like Disney stickers. If I like find stickers, I'll put them in there in case I'm writing to someone I want to add one. Um, having that all together just makes it super easy. So just wanted to pass that on if anyone else needs to be inspired to create a little stationary bin. As usual with any of the Erin Condren products, I have a link below. So if you sign up for account, they will, um, I'm an affiliate or I don't know if I'm really an affiliate. I'm like, I have a referral link below. So if you order any of their stationary or planners or anything else, then you can use my link and they'll send you a $10 gift certificate. So you can take $10 off your first order, which is fun. So anyway, there's my stationary bin, nice and organized, got all the riffraff out of it. And um, I'm gonna keep going. Alright, so my little Etsy corner has been reinstated. Some of my shipping supplies and packaging supplies. I also have some of it in a rolling cart out in my kitchen where I've been doing most of the packaging because it's been such a mess in here. And then my postage scale and then normally I hang my clipboard um, with open orders in here but this is my assistant's clipboard. So that is all done. So let's get to the second half including my desktop which is a disaster and also needs to be cleaned up. This is really cute. This is something I taped on my wall. I actually taped it. It says printed on the 7th of February 2019, which is the day I found out I was pregnant. So the day I found out I was pregnant, I went ahead and printed so that I could see, um, you know, my weeks while I was working at my computer here. And I think it's time to take it down. Actually, I might take it down and then just put it in Nora's baby book we have like a little memory book for her but that's a cute thing I, it's been up there for so long um for over a year now but that, I'll never forget after I got that positive pregnancy test later that afternoon printing this out and putting it up and being so excited to be able to track my pregnancy as I was going through everything and I'm continuing to sort it and whatnot I found this acorn which has a very special significance because on the very first day of college Every student at New Student Convocation is given an acorn and sort of like encouraged in how much they're going to grow over the next four years of, of school. And then on our graduation day, we all received an oak sapling. Hi, Charlie Bear. And um, we actually got like a live oak sapling to go home and I planted it in my parents' backyard because I, you know, hadn't moved into my own place yet. And... Um, really really neat so I've kept this all this time this little bag and the little acorn hat has even come off but I don't think I'll ever get rid of it because it's like such a good I don't know such a sweet memory I am doing pretty well there we go I'm doing pretty well getting everything here kind of sorted out I actually just I was just wiping this down I actually just got this Dymo label writer which is for Etsy shipping labels which is going to make my life so much easier because the way that I've been doing it is loading the printer with shipping label paper and it's just been this this 
really frustrating process and this should make it super a lot easier so um with that in mind i got that just plugged in and set up and then i found these that i had forgotten that i ordered um these notepads these are also from erin condren it's also that pear print but i chose different colors this time and i'm going to set one of these out so you can see erin condren i'm going to set one of these out here um not with this with one of my favorite pens um just because it's nice to have for um writing notes and things like that. The other thing that I need to move this down. The other thing is that I have like most people a little camera at the top of my computer and um, I read the other day that it's really important to have a little cover on it so I bought these little covers off of Amazon. I can link them below so I'm going to go ahead and install this so that when my webcam when I'm not using it it's covered up just makes me feel more secure so we're getting there we're definitely getting there I found a few um, these were all gifts I forget I think Riley gave me this there are far better things ahead than any we leave behind this I got as um, it's like a print with an order I made I will not be shaken and then this is from way back when I got, it says I'm a pretty big deal on my blog. It used to be in like a little frame, but I guess I recycled the frame. So um, kind of cute, funny things. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with them. It's always these little things that are so, I don't know, it's so difficult to know what to do with because it's like, I don't need any of this stuff. So I should just get rid of it, but they're so pretty. Like that's such a pretty print. So we'll see. All right, there you can see it. So it's open right now. And now it's closed. Perfect. Super easy. Also just found this sweet little picture of Charlie Bear when he was a couple of months old. He was a little black baby with a little white nose. His first time in the snow. So sweet. Okay, so I just hung these up. These are these really neat, um, it's like a string of lights with little gold clips on it. And obviously this doesn't look great, so I need to like undo that. Maybe like command hook it under here or so I don't know something like that but my idea is because this is where I sit and film and so this is like the wider view but typically my camera's in here and it's more like you know like this you can kind of picture my head's here in the middle so I don't know maybe something like a little background like that could be kind of interesting and fun just something different so I'm going to give it a shot for my next video and I don't know that I'll like put, I put these two things up. I don't know that I'll keep those up, but just something a little different. It's easy enough to pull down. I just put little push pins in the wall. So it's easy enough to pull down, but it's kind of adds a little some something. Anyway, I've been wanting to use those lights forever. And so I'm glad that I found a use for them and I'll see what I think. If it doesn't work out for filming, I could put it around my, um, dry erase board here just as like a little decoration that would be cute all right I finally cleared off my desk I am using I love these they were from Grove seventh generation multi-purpose wipes and they mm, they smell like fresh mint so they're just a really nice scent so I'm gonna go ahead and move my tech out of the way and I have my little elbow rest or um, arm rest and wrist rest and I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe everything down get it nice and clean and sanitized get all the dust away since this desk has not been used in months I have popped in here this is where I edit my videos so I have definitely popped in here just to edit videos but um, not to and then I have a clean clean dish towel just to pick up any extra anyway I have been I have come in here to to edit some videos but aside from that I really haven't spent any time in here even though this is my preferred place to work because it's so much more ergonomic than sitting on the couch with my laptop. Um, 
because it's just such a mess in here it's like really hard to even answer emails it's uh, I just can't focus because it's such a mess so sometimes the little sticky from my Etsy packaging gets stuck on the uh, on the workbench desk here and then it gotta pull it up I already feel so good this room looks so much better it's not totally done yet but it looks significantly better we just need to I'd like to maybe get I don't know I need to talk to Riley maybe some hooks on the wall for his guitars I totally want him to have a nice place to store his guitars um, that's safe and will keep them in good condition because he has quite a few and they're really important to him so I definitely want that but um they're not that bad right now. There's just a few, um, a few cords everywhere. So maybe we could, what is this? Something on, I don't know what that could be. Something spilled on the actual picture frame. All right, now let me get my clean rag here. I don't want little streaks. All right, and then I have a, um, this one is a Be Our Guest, um, what are these things called, coaster. And then I have another one, this one's funny, this one is a peace sign, and I have had this since I was in middle school. I bought this at some little boutique somewhere in middle school. I guess peace signs were big back then, and I've had it ever since, and I've taken it with me to every apartment and to college and everywhere else. And I always have two of these on my desk because when my assistant is able to come help me, which unfortunately is not right now, um, she always has a drink and I always have a drink and we don't want our paperwork or Etsy stuff to get wet. So I put my drink on one and she puts her drink on the other. So we, I always have two. Um, I miss her so much. I miss her company. I miss her friendship. I miss her help. I just miss everything about her. So. Hopefully this will end soon and we can get together again and she can come over and get back to work and we can spend time together. Such a good social outlet to have someone over here a few days a week for a few hours. She's just a couple years younger than me and married and just really awesome. Okay, so my desk is cleared off. Now let me get my, I took my diffuser out of here because I really never, this over here so I have that um, I really never I had it right here and I very very rarely used it and it's my prettiest diffuser so I'm gonna move it somewhere more um, more prominent in the house so that I can enjoy it all right let me show you what else I have to do so I have, this is funny I know some of you have seen my video where I talk about my Walt Disney World binder the last time I did a binder was two years ago um, and then I have, that's that stationary bin I was talking, bin I was talking about. That's some packaging supplies. That's packaging supplies. That's paper. This is a shredder and a, um, trash bin. And then some extra labels, some extra paper. I have two printers cause I use them for two different things. And now I have that printer. So I have three. Um, this is a little, then I have a mess of cords. I'd like to go through that. Um, and get that. This is my tripod that I've been using to film. This is my little basket of, um, I have a couple of different Erin Condren planners that I use for, um, like this one I use for planning content, and this is my little notebook. I use these for more long-term goals, and um, this is some of my favorite pens. So sometimes I'll grab a couple of these things and go sit somewhere and work on them. Not as much lately because I just had a baby, but you know. So yeah, hot mess of cords, but oh, I need to pull. This is for the diffuser. So I'm going to take that out somewhere else. Okay, so here's Riley's little, he has some pedals and two of his guitars here and his amp and then another pedal thing. And anyway, and then I have some travel stuff in here that I need to go put with the rest of my travel stuff. And that's Riley's stuff. And I'm not exactly sure what to do with it, but we're making progress. I need to move this lives over here. 
so that when I'm working I can have my phone up. I just like having it like that. Um, and then these tissues I usually put over here. Ooh, I'm bumping into stuff. I usually put on my desk somewhere. Um, I like having less on my desk, but it also has to be practical, right? So anyway, so pretty. I bought these. I'm not going to go through any decor items of this room because I have done a video on decorating my office. So you can go and watch that video if you want. It talks about all the different things um, in my office. The desk and the chair and the prints and all this stuff. And there's links to everything if you're interested. All right, for all my Disney lovers, I found this package that I ordered from the Auburn Bee on Etsy. So I'll leave a link to her shop below. Um, but this is, I ordered this way back when in anticipation of whenever we go on our first Disney trip with Nora. So you can see in the little pictures here what I was thinking. So this will be Nora's and this will be mine. So I think, I think I'm gonna get, maybe I'll get pink. Maybe both that she and I will get pink. And I'll have these little decals on the edges and then this will be over the puck and then on hers she um, will just have this over the little puck these little hearts how sweet so I am going to put these um, in away in this bag that they came in and file them away in I gotta figure out where um, file them away somewhere so that I don't forget to put them on whenever, who knows when, whenever we're able to go to um, Disney again. But this Etsy shop, the Auburn Bee, I have ordered from many, many times and it is wonderful. So like I said, I'll leave a link below in case you're interested. So I'm finishing up organizing, but I just wanted to share, this is something I've had for years and it hangs on a little coat hook over the back of my closet door. So you can just shut it and you don't see it, but it's this, hanging um, organizer for gift wrapping supplies. So it's not neat, but it's perfect for what I need it for. It has all the bags and a few, a little bit of tissue, different things in the back. And then the front, these are all labels. Um, then I have different types of wrapping paper. Again, this is not neat, but I use it all the time and I love it. Um, different ribbons and such. This is like paper that you can put at the bottom of a gift, gift bag or whatever. And these are a few, um, what are those things called? Bows. So this closet could use its own day of um, going through everything, but it looks pretty good. Once you close it up, you can't see any of that business. And that thing just hangs on this clear little hanger, which is great. So we just need to get the last things to do are just, um, this is all Riley stuff. So um, I'm just going to move this out of the room and he can sort through it and determine what he wants to keep and where he wants to keep it and he can keep it in here just um we gotta get rid of that box it's falling apart and then i'm gonna collapse my tripod and my ring light and put them in the corner which is where i normally store them and this is all done i can get rid of that it's all cleaned up and i can go put that up on our front bookshelf so we are pretty good this looks so much better Alright, I'm all finished. So I've organized everything. Riley said later he's going to come in here and sort out his petals, but for all intents and purposes, we are all squared away. Everything's sorted out. It feels so good to know that I have my desk back. I have a space to package up orders and work in here, and I can film over here with these new pretty lights. Like I said, as you know, my videos are sort of like this, so you'll get to see a little bit of that. And those are sorted, and I actually did do a few things in my closet and cleaned it out a little bit. I'd like to do a full closet overhaul, but I don't have time for that tonight. So this is great. Thank you so much for watching and for following along with my little office tidy up, sort out, clean up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.